Hello, everyone, and welcome to video number two, an overview of management portals for our introduction to Azure video series. So the first thing I want to clear up about management portals is that there are two of them. There is the original uh, Azure management portal known as Azure Service Management. So here's what that portal looks like. You may have seen it before. And then there is the new portal, which is known as the Azure Resource Manager portal. This is the portal that you want to use, uh, especially if you're a new customer for almost everything. There are instances of certain types of infrastructure that require the old portal. And you can see what those are here uh, with the, the little arrow that points. So if you want to manage Active Directory, it's going to, uh, this is basically a link to the old portal. Uh, those items are moving over time. Uh, it's a transition. Uh, however, uh, most everything is now available in the new portal. So let's just take a quick look at this portal. Uh, first of all, uh, if you're new to, to Azure and the first time you log into the portal, your dashboard is going to look a little bit different than what we have here. Uh, this is known as the dashboard. It typically shows some of the resources you have deployed. It shows your service health uh, for the globe for Azure. You can see there's a lot of green check boxes here. Uh, if uh, there are issues, these green check boxes will change color. And if you click on this link, you can get detailed information about what's going on, why that color is different. You can also see there is a marketplace link here and a help and support link. Uh, if you go across over here to the top right, uh, you can see that there is an alerts item. This is where you're going to see notifications for things that are happening in the portal. Uh, if you delete something or you create something, you're going to see a status notification there. If you deploy a virtual machine, for example, and then you are moving around in the portal doing other things, you can always come back up here and click this to see if it has completed or if it's still deploying. The settings button here uh, does a number of things uh, that are all aesthetic. So you can see that my color palette right now is sort of a white background. I can change this up to make it a different uh, background. So somewhat simple, uh, however, uh, could be important if uh, you want to have a different color scheme. There's also the ability to turn on and off animations, command labels, and toast notifications. In addition, you can choose your language. I'm going to apply that change because I want mine to stay blue. This little smiley link here is for feedback. So you can provide feedback of whatever sort to Microsoft. Uh, and you can even include a screenshot of what you are doing at the moment. You'll also see this feedback screen pop up occasionally as you're using the portal. This link here provides you the ability to submit a support request. So if you're having billing issues or technical issues, uh, you can actually just get support right here from clicking this link. You can also view uh, support requests that you have open. And you'll see there's some other details uh, for keyboard shortcuts here, privacy terms, and diagnostics. Finally, on the far right here, you can see uh, the account that you're logged in as. You can see the directory that you're accessing at the time. Of course, uh, if you work in an organization that has multiple directories, uh, and when I say that, multiple active directories, uh, you may have access to a number of them. And so they'll show up under this menu item. So you can see I have access to a number of directories. This is where I can also change my password, uh, view my permissions, submit an idea, and view my bill. If I had access to billing uh, as a Microsoft employee, I could see my bill here. So that's the top bar of the screen here. Along the left here, uh, you can see there are a number of shortcuts for different resource objects in Azure. Uh, resource groups are important because that are, those are containers where you store objects, and they also enable uh, role-based access control. Uh, you can look at all the resources that you have deployed all together here. And then as you go down the, this set of links, you can choose whatever you want to uh, have listed here. I've added some of my own items, but if you click on more services, you can see that you can add uh, a star to anything. So if I click on a star here, it's going to add it to my menu here on the left, which will also give me the ability to move that around. So I can sort of customize the view to meet my needs. So if I were to deploy something new uh, in Azure from the portal, I would just click on new here. And I would be given the ability to do a search if I want to. Or if I know I want to deploy something specifically, I can go down this list and find the category of the item I want to deploy. One of the most common items are virtual machines. If you click on virtual machines, you can see here that you have a whole choice of virtual machines. Uh, backups are also very common. So if I click on enterprise integration, I can see there's a number of options here. Uh, for backups and enterprise integration. 
Okay, now, uh, one of the things you can do that's kind of interesting on this portal is you can customize it. So if I wanted to customize my portal, I'll go back to my dashboard here. I can do things such as add virtual machines, virtual machine processing power, that sort of thing. So what I'm gonna do quickly here is I'm gonna go to my virtual machines. I have this Azure EDU DC01 uh, domain controller running in Azure. And what I can do here is I can actually pin this virtual machine to the dashboard so that I can see uh, the status of it on the dashboard. I can also do things like pin uh, my CPU monitor to the dashboard. So if I click on this little symbol here, I can say I want to pin this to the dashboard. And you can see over here on the top right, it says it's been pinned to the dashboard. Uh, if I go back to my dashboard now, here is my CPU percentage. That's a little bit too big for me, so I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to customize it here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then I can also edit what I'm looking at. So I can say, oh, instead of uh, having this default view, maybe I want to have a bar chart uh, or a little bit more of a time, a custom time to be uh, deployed or to, to be showing. And then all these boxes that aren't gray, I can choose for this particular monitor. So I could uh, say that I also want privilege time, for example. Click OK. And then my dashboard item is going to reflect that. So you can you can uh, do all sorts of fun and interesting things with the dashboard. Uh, as you deploy other object types, you can pin those to the dashboard. You can get some really detailed performance information listed here. It's really up to you what you want to customize. And then if I click Done here, uh, that sort of cleans up the editing screen, and I can uh, just look at the details. So this is the first screen you'll see when you log in. Uh, this tile over here uh, doesn't seem to have enough room to show everything I've got, so maybe I want to go over here to this tile. Let me back out a little bit and click on this Customize button and make this just a little bit bigger. And I can do that, and now I can see more of my items. So just a, just a way to customize. Uh, you can see here I have an alert that showed up over here on the right, and basically that alert was for pinning that CPU percentage to the dashboard. Okay, so that's really all that I wanted to show. Uh, that is an introduction to the management portal uh, and the Azure uh, Service Manager portal. Uh, you're going to, as a new customer, probably after uh, sometime in uh, 2016 and later, you're going to be using only this portal for the most part. Thank you.